All right, happy Tuesday morning at Power Hour Crew. My name is Melanie Ships out of Indianapolis, Indiana, coming to you from my kitchen because my office is a dead zone. So here we are. Um, I'm glad I kind of cleaned it up. So I'm excited to be here, you guys. And I know every single week you show up and you are excited to do your business. I know that because I see so many faces here that are familiar. Not only are they familiar, they have become friends. And you guys know that we have a very, very special community. So we continue to work this. Um, and also I do a 9 a.m. power hour and that is just as exciting. It's been neat to see this amount of people over on the 9 a.m. as well. So we're hitting the West Coast. We've got the East Coast all the way across the United States. So that really makes me so happy to see that you guys are continuing to share this with your teams and your newest business partners because I do see some newbies hopping on. You guys also know that on Dream Legacy Team, that's Tom and Kim Challen. Um, on their page. If you have not been on their website, dreamlegacyteam.com, there is a power hour schedule there. If you guys have not checked that out, I want to make sure that you are staying plugged in and staying close to the fire at all times. Regardless of the team that you're on, I go to Dream Legacy Team for everything as far as meetings. And so it's there that I even am bringing, you know, like when I have my newest people join me in business or I have people looking at this. When we talk about simple systems, I make sure that they understand that our simple system starts um, from our leaders and it trickles down. And so I have spent a lot of time making sure that I'm tuned in to what's available to us. And um, if you guys go over to Re Dream Legacy Team and you get to be a part of their Facebook page, they really have everything that you need in one schedule. And so just recently this last week, um, I sent out an email just yesterday to my entire organization and I let them know that as of February 1st with Savvy, things just got way more simple. And you guys, by shape, like your head, tell me yes or no. Do you feel more confident in your business now more than ever? Do you, do you? Okay, I need to see that. And then I also want to see in the chat, let me know, how are you feeling since February 1st, since everything has dropped? Do you feel more confident? And do you feel like you have everything that you need at the tip of your fingers? You guys feeling that? Okay, awesome. Awesome. If you're not feeling that, I want to encourage you, just like I encouraged all of my um, direct business partners, um, that if something is holding you back from moving forward at this point in your business, it's because you need to take a closer look at, at what has um, been simplified. We talk about that here in the last two weeks, um, that the biggest thing right now, you guys, is making sure that you understand that this business is truly a wear and share program. We even have the wearandshare.com site um, that, you know, I was just talking to Kat uh, last week. We were talking about the fact that the wear and share dot com website has a place where you can actually become a customer and become a business partner the fact that that is all on one page it's up to you how you want to share your link but now i'm starting to share that one <laughs> because if i share my dot com site the shop site absolutely they can go shopping but what about the bigger vision if you guys are visionaries and you really have seen or been here from the very beginning or you're brand new in this business you recognize that there's an opportunity behind sharing the link, right? So if you have not taken some time to go to your wearandshare.com site, um, if you're curious, like, where the hell do I even find that? Make sure you're going to savvyoffice.com. Go onto that dashboard. You're going to see all of your websites. The wearandshare.com forward slash your referral code is where you can bring people to take a closer look at the business side, all right? So as part of this power hour, something that I want to do as a call to action is I want to make sure that you have spent time looking at the wearandshare.com site. I'm not saying like digest it and memorize it. I just want you to make sure that you're, you're aware, you've brought that into your awareness that it's available to you. On that landing page, we have, like I said, you can become a customer, which by the way, if you click that join now button, it's going to take you or take your person over to your .com site where they can shop. Okay. Another thing that I noticed because I am a website geek, I build websites. <laughs> um, I'm a graphic designer. So I totally geek out on this kind of stuff. A big shout out to our marketing department is that um, if you go to your .com site, all right, you can do it right now on this power hour, savvy.com, um, go all the way down to the very bottom of that page. There is a little hyperlink called become a member. All right. So even if you sent become a member, that that hyperlink right there, um, oftentimes people don't even understand there's coding embedded in your own website, your dot com site, the savvy.com 
forward slash your referral code. When you're on that site and you go all the way down to the bottom of the page, there is a little button that you can click called become a member. If you click on it and you share that link, that's still connected to you because you got to make sure that your name is in that link. But if you just send become a member, they're getting to see the VIP style club and the style club, and it shows them exactly what they need to know. So it's just another point of view that they can see. So I just wanted to bring that into your awareness so that you guys know about that. Um, that is in my emails that I send out every week. And so I make sure that my customers are fully aware of everything that's possible to them. So make sure you wrote that down. So make sure you're looking at those hyperlinks and just be very much aware of those links that you can share with your customers and or potential brand partners, okay? The other thing that I want to bring to you, you guys, I am on freaking fire in my head. Like I, I want to know by show of hands, there were two big calls that happened yesterday. And if you had any doubt in your mind at all about where you're at with Savvy, um, your success in Savvy, um, maybe the things that aren't working for you in Savvy, I have a homework assignment for you. And I don't want you to necessarily do this on, um, this call right now, but this would be your call to action as personal development, um, is I wanna make sure that you guys listen to the call from Ken Porter. Who was on that call last night um, with Ken Porter? Yes, okay. Of course you guys are because you guys are showing up and that is a big difference between people that are not succeeding here in this space and people like you that are showing up and staying close to the fire. One thing that I continuously remind even my direct business partners and my team is you guys have got to stay close to the fire and stay in tune with the Monday and Wednesday calls. And so when Ken Porter, the founder of our company speaks, you listen, <laughs> there's not one thing that he has said that hasn't resonated with me. That man is brilliant. Um, if I could put him in my back pocket or on my shoulder and listen to what he had to say every day, it's no surprise that Jen Ashby and Ken Porter are best friend building the vision of this company. And so as a call to action, I want to make sure that you guys are going to listen to that call. All right. It's so good from a visionary perspective. It's also really good from a perspective of an entrepreneur that has built multiple businesses over and over. And if you guys listen to his call, you'll understand that he's been in this space before. He has been sitting where you're sitting. He has felt your pains. He has felt your failures. He has also felt your success. He has been on that emotional roller coaster. Okay. So I really want to encourage you guys to take a close look at Ken's call from Monday. I will drop that link here on this call, but in case you are new and you're not familiar with the Savvy Brand Partners page, make sure that you go over there, become a member of that group page. And it's right there, February 14th call Valentine's day, where he's sharing tons of love. In my opinion, it was probably Probably one of the best calls. Okay, so you guys are like, yes, powerful. It was amazing. Yes, I love all these comments right now, you guys. This is incredible. I love that you guys were here. The other one, yes, you guys are already mentioning it is Lauren Sienna Gate. So the second thing that I do on my Mondays and I pencil it into my calendar is I'm very picky about the uh, personal development I'm allowing in my brain right now. And it's primarily because I have so much of it coming at me. <laughs> Sometimes I find that I do, I'm doing more personal development than I'm getting into activity on some weeks because I have so much. I have my own business coach. I'm in my own programs um, as far as a student learning more about this industry, but I'm also a coach in this space. So on top of building this business and I build two, I have two network marketing businesses. Okay. And I'm balancing that. And I have a coaching business that I'm trying to create for social sellers. And I have all of this beautiful, like this amazing personal development coming at me. It would be so easy for me to put my headphones in and do nothing but absorb and get into analysis paralysis. I want you guys to use these calls to fuel you. All right. So Lauren Sanigate does just that. She's a really good friend of mine here. I'm just very, very grateful um, for just her leadership in this company. Um, she's one of the OGs, as you guys know, she's been around from the very beginning. So as you continue um, to pick and choose your personal development, make sure to put Lauren Sanigate's call on your to-do list this week. In fact, I would do it today if you are feeling stuck. <laughs> if you need a little fuel under your butt, then you want to listen to Lauren Sanigate because I just love her no BS approach. I love her sim simple approach that she shares. I love that she's basically like, hey, you need to take a look at this. I have something that, you know, might resonate with you. It's a wear and share program. You get a link, you can share it. 
you know, um, you get paid to do that, you can earn free clothes. All right. I got a five minute video I could share with you. Um, could you take a look at it? And if so, if she sends the link, they watch it. She says thumbs up. All right. So I love that approach. I have always loved that approach with Lauren. It's very simple. Um, I remember back in the day when we were all started, we got started in this business in 2020. I'll never forget it. I joined in the summer of 2020. Like we honestly, not, nobody knew what the hell we were doing, but we were joining and building and duplicating because we got people on live info sessions. And that's how Lauren built her business. Um, in fact, if you go back to the Savvy Brand Partners page, back to a Monday mindset call, and I think it was November of 2020, 20, if you even want to go back and look, she had done a training on how she was doing her business um, and sharing by live info session. So if you guys want to go back and look for that call, um, that interview with her and uh, Jen Ashby, feel free. It is a really, really good call that I highly recommend. It's one of the trainings I use for my team because it's so simple. And uh, if you guys are building your business, whether you're building your business through the ATM group, okay, maybe you're, you're taking that approach and you're like, I'm going to build my relationships with people. I want to share this opportunity with them. And then I want to get them uh, to take a close look at the opportunity. You guys know that the ATM group page is there for a reason. And it's there that they have opportunity calls, right? All right. So you can plug them into the ATM page. But if your approach is a little bit different, mine is slightly different. I don't throw people in ATM pages right away. I, I just don't. Um, I actually share more opportunity calls. I get them to engage with an opportunity call first. I find that the way they do one thing is the way they do everything. So if they can't watch my opportunity call, they sure the hell are not gonna pay attention to what's on the ATM page. So I kind of am screening people with an opportunity call. Um, and so if at that time that I can get them into an ATM group page and then start tagging and then messaging them, I do that. All right. But I do want to encourage you guys to go back and listen to Lauren Sandigate's call. You can find that on the Dream Legacy team page. Um, I will drop that link here in just a second. So if you guys are watching the replay, which I know a lot of you do, make sure to, do, to listen to those two calls as your personal development this week. Okay. All right, so let me go get those links. I'm gonna go back and look at the chat. If you guys have questions about any of those things, go ahead and drop that question. I will address that. And then we're gonna to get to the next thing. I wanna get us into activity. Um, we're about quarter after on this call that gives us 45 minutes to really continue that momentum and get into activity. So give me one second and I will go grab those links. Hang on just a sec. Okay, I just dropped the call with Ken. And again, you guys remember that's on the Savvy Brand Partner page. So if you click on this link um, and, and for whatever reason you're not on that page, you simply just have to join that group. Um, and let me go and get the link for Lauren's call. Okay, I dropped that link as well. So they're both there. And remember the Lauren Sanagate call is gonna be found on the Dream Legacy Team page. Again, if you guys go to that link and you cannot get into that call, it's because you are not a member of the group page. So that's a simple fix. Just go ahead and request to be in there. Okay, give me one second. I wanna check the chat, see if you guys had some questions here. We're gonna to go to the next thing. Oh, Patty, you're so sweet. I'm so glad that you guys are here. I see a lot of new faces and that's because you guys are sharing this um, and you are finding value. And that is what, how I, that's how I gauge a good power hour. Sometimes I do stress out a tad before I come here because I want to make sure I'm bringing value. Um, so if you guys are finding value here, that makes me so happy. Um, I appreciate you sharing that feedback. I do get a lot of private messages after my power hours and you guys are sharing what's working. You're sharing what's not working. You're sharing like, could you ever kind of teach us this or that? And I'm like, um, yes, <laughs> absolutely. We can only do so much in 15 minutes, of course, but all right. Lauren's call was on fire. You guys, yes. I mean, oh my gosh, she's amazing. She truly is amazing. I love her simple, no bullshit approach. She's a visionary. 
Here's the thing about Lauren that I got to tell you. And I, I think that why I resonate with her so much, the moment I saw her, I'm like, yeah, I have a woman crush on you. And she's like, likewise. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, we could be, we both could be BFFs because I, I get that. Um, I think when I saw Savvy from the very beginning, um, I got to tell you guys this, that, you know, I, I was doing another network marketing business and I'm like, you know, honestly, I don't think I can do it. I just, I don't think I can build another one from the ground up again. I just, I don't think I have it in me to do that because you guys know whether you've been in the network marketing space for a while or you're brand new here, you have to get really good at a couple things. Uh, one of those is being okay with no's, being okay with being completely ignored and ghosted, especially by your family and friends, which sucks sometimes. Um, but, you know, it's just part of it because they don't know what they don't know. And you guys are the visionaries. You guys are the vision casters. You guys are the storytellers. And when you can get really good at doing that and doing that from a place of like incredible posturing, posturing simply means that you believe so much that what is in your hand will change lives that you don't give a shit if they say yes or no to you. Like you, like, it's like this book. Like, I don't know about Diary of a Wimpy Kid and what's in this book, but my son sure seems to think it's the best book ever. Well, he's going to sell me on it because he believes in it. It's the same thing with Savvy, right? So I think that when you guys can understand truly what you have in your hand and you surround yourself and stay close to the fire, I tell you guys that all the time, you can't help but start to really believe that maybe there's something here. Even if you didn't quite believe it when you came in, you stay close to the visionaries, the vision casters, the people that find success, success leaves clues. I guarantee you, you will start to build confidence in yourself and your posturing will change. And I guarantee you, after you listen to those two calls I just dropped, you're going to want to contact at least 20 people today. And I challenge you to do that. Um, I've got a private Tuesday morning power hour thread um, that you are more than welcome to be a part of. And I always say this with a caveat that, you know, I have a very special crew there, but it's more about, you know, how are we building relationships on and off social media? And I do that and, I, and I'm getting ready to teach uh, anyone that would want to learn how to do this through email marketing and email list building. And so you guys can use social media to attract your ideal clients all day long. You can show up there all day. You can do reels all day and have fun. But what do the conversations look like after you have had the posturing and the vision that's so rock solid that they have to take a look and they watched your video, then what, right? That's where I feel like I, I have some magic that happens. That's where you're building relationships. You're taking your cold messaging um, and your message that you sent them that was with confidence that, you know, you have something amazing, but how do you get them then to build that relationship with them where they like, know, and trust you and they want to join you. Right. So there's a lot of, there's a skill set there. There's something that has to be built. And so if you look at Lauren and you watch her training and you think good for her, I couldn't possibly do what Lauren's doing. You guys, she has, this is her third network marketing business. Her third. All right. Her first is okay. She had some success. Her second, not so much, making $12 a paycheck, I think. And then here she comes to be one of the top earners in the company. The top. You guys, the top means she's more than Tom and Kim Challen. Tom and Kim Challen were the first. She's making more than them. Do you want to know why? Because she's having a lot of conversations. She's having a lot of conversations with people, right? One of the things you'll find in her call that I wrote down is she said, who are five people on your mind? And we're going to take 10 minutes right now to do this. 10 minutes. All right. So if you guys are right in the middle of your reach outs and you're like, Mel, I don't want to do this exercise, then go ahead and mute me. You're not going to hurt my feelings. I won't even know. Um, then you continue with your momentum. But if you guys are sitting here looking at me right now and you're like, oh, something's got to shift. Something's off. It's like this self-defeating language, like you're your worst enemy. Like I know, because I do that a lot to myself. But if you are ready to make a shift, okay? If you are ready to make a shift, then I'm gonna challenge you to do something right now. Tanya, I see you. I see your faces. Yes, Sunny, Allie, I see all of you guys. Catherine, I see all of you. Margo, Kat, yes, okay. This is what we're going to do right now. Then I'm going to do it with you because I am tired 
of being scared sometimes. I'm tired of some of my personal shit getting in the way of what I know I'm made to do. I get emotional right now, got stuff going on, right? But if I don't figure out, and if you don't figure out how to get out of your own damn way and start sharing this gift, you will be in the same place you are today in six months. You will be looking at people on that Cancun trip, feeling sorry for yourself because you did not do enough. If you're brand new here and you don't know what I'm talking about, Cancun, then that's okay because there'll be another one. <laughs> this is savvy. Okay. There's going to be more spring, like a summer collection. There's going to be more leadership things. So, you know, I can't go on the Cancun trip. I wish that I could. We've got some personal things going on. We're going to actually take our own family to Cancun uh, or Mexico. So I, I, you know, but it doesn't mean that I don't want, I don't want the shout outs for earning it. You know, like, here's the thing. You have the power in your hands to make a shift right now. And as your friend, because most of you guys are my friends at this point, because we have built such an incredible community here, I expect you will hold me accountable and I will hold you accountable. And let's get the F out of our way and start building this brand. Okay. Listen to Ken, listen to Lauren. All right. And together, you guys, I believe so much in this community. If you want to join me at 9 a.m., we can do the same thing over there. We're going to take five people that we have never talked to that kind of scare you because maybe their no might hurt you, make you cry a little bit, and get over yourself and say, I have something you need to take a look at. And you say it with such posture. Don't even text that stuff. Just say it in an audio message. And say, I'm doing something that you seriously need to take a close look at. And if you want language, if you want posturing, go listen to Lauren's call. Like I listened to it last night. I'm like, oh my God, that's how I was building so fast in the beginning because my belief was so rock solid, right? When you guys agree. Okay. So for the next 30 minutes, here's what we're going to do. All right. Get your pen, get your paper right here. You don't need to do anything else. That's all you need right now. And I want you to think about this. If you're, if you're a prayer person like I am, I pray about everything I do in my business. I do believe in the prayer of Jabez. I believe that the Lord will align me with the right people and he's not proved me wrong so far. It's how I feel like my team is successful today because I've got incredible people on my team. All right. That those people saw something when I shared it, they saw something. Chelsea is an answered prayer. If you guys know Chelsea Bennett, her, our story is incredible. She found me. That was an answer prayer. All right. So I am posturing myself with confidence, belief. I'm a vision caster and I sure the hell want to be a good storyteller. Okay. And I know that there's going to be a lot of people out there that don't even know about savvy that they're going to find out from me. Okay. And I'm making it my mission to do that. Right. Ali, I love your positive affirmations of your face chat. Yeah. Cat, same thing. You guys understand the power of that. And we get to do that. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Take your pen and paper. You're going to write down five to 10 names of people you are scared to death to talk to. And you're going to talk to them this week. And if you don't feel like you have the right language, go listen to those calls. And I guarantee you from those calls, you can pull the language that you need. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to mute my call. Um, and maybe you guys can meet my little Cece I just adopted. We just adopted a new rescue Rhodesian Ridgeback. So maybe, <laughs> there's my son. You want to go get Cece and we can show him? Oh, yeah. While they're doing some work here. You guys can see her sweet little face. So, <laughs> all right. I'm going to go back to the chat. I really, really hope that encourages you guys because I'm going to start getting real, real especially with people on my list. I'm going to be like, listen, I had a girl just tell me the other day, well, I've tried your leggings and they don't fit me. They kept falling down. I'm like, well, that was savvy 1.0. We're on savvy 2.0. And by the way, the same Lululemon leggings that you love so much because you're a Lulu ambassador, I'm telling her today, they don't pay you like we pay you. So put your savvy skins away. 
All right, let's just call it a spade a spade. They, they're not the greatest. I'll tell you, I, I just am not a fan personally. <laughs> I, I don't buy them. It uh, doesn't mean they're not going to be great moving forward. It's just for my body type. And she's got the same body type I do. Like the skins are eh, but I need to get her in a Solus. I need to get her in a carry. I need to get her in the Mesa. I need to get her in the newer ones, right? That's what I'm going to be doing. I want her on my team because she keeps watching me and it's driving me nuts. Come here, Cece. Come here, say hi to the girls. Come here, where'd you go? Where are you? Come here. Hey, look, right here. Say hi. Hi, friends. Hi. Can you say hi? Aww. Yeah. So that's my pup. That's Cece. We're very, very happy she's here. <laughs> I can get a little bit of the camera with my shirt. I know, buddy. All right, are you guys ready to get to work? I've talked enough. My heart is beating so fast because I just have so much work to do. And when you're a vision caster, boy, I, th I feel like I need to go live today. I feel like I need to drop some truth bombs to some people. <laughs> All right. Wow. There's a lot of messages here. Okay. Clearly I need to get on more on, on fire here with you guys, but that's what Lauren does to me. That's what Ken does to me. That's what Jen does to me. These are the calls I listen to that get me in this posturing that I feel like everybody needs to listen to. Oh yeah, I see in the chat, you guys here, if you, I send out a weekly email with my recordings and then I also include what I share as first resources on these calls. Um, and it's just partly too, to keep you guys looped in, but it's also my email marketing and email list building and it shows you what's possible. I can't even tell you how much email marketing is changing my business. It's incredible. Like it's, it'll blow your mind. So I have a training that's coming on that. Um, you know, it depends who you talk to as far as leaders in this industry. There's going to be some people that say, eh, you don't need emails. Uh, I, I beg to differ. I kind of feel like, you know, we can bring them to a tool. We can bring them to a video, but how are you building relationships and showing truly who you are as a person and as a leader in this space, then building relationships. And you can do that all through your emails. And it is such a beautiful thing and very easy to do. And so we're going to be having that training here too. So I'll be sending that out. my God, you guys are awesome. Can we just do a retreat? Um, get together here in Indianapolis. I got so many people that would fly in here. <laughs> I won't have you come now. It's nasty here. I don't even like to be here. So <laughs> I got a swimming pool though. As soon as that opens, we'll have a pool party. How's that? <laughs> you guys all stay at the hotel. And we'll just spend time here in my backyard <laughs> playing with my dog and just masterminding together. It's going to be amazing. Uh, you guys, I don't know about Cancun. I think somebody asked, speaking of Cancun, can you BP still register now or do they have to wait? I don't know. You guys tell me. I don't know. I stopped paying attention because I won't be there. Eh, I'm kind of sad about that. I know Stephen had mentioned at some point that the link was going to be back available for people to register. I don't know. I can't remember if it was last last week or the week before no it was last week and he just said keep your eye on it keep your eye on it um i had her okay. check yesterday and it was still it kept saying check back yeah so I my guess on, is that they paused it yeah, for now yeah i checked on sunday that was kind of the last time that i checked it to see if it had opened back up again and it wasn't so yeah okay um, hopefully we'll hear something tomorrow night maybe okay yeah that's my guess too thanks guys Emily's getting a puppy tomorrow. Really? Oh. He is arriving at three o'clock in the morning tonight. <laughs> but yeah, we're so excited. It's a little Aussie do or Aussie uh, Australian Shepherd in a poodle mix. <laughs> Mom, I told you Australian Shepherd is a I love it. Allie will be chatting offline. <laughs> registration is on hold tanya says okay
I'm going to drop one more thing for you guys too in the chat. And it's because I'm really beta testing this. Um, I had mentioned this on a, another power hour um, with my daily activity tracker. I am building a 90 day planner, which is gorgeous and you're going to want it. And I'm working with a printing company to try to lessen the cost on how much it's costing me to get these printed. Um, so the more I can, I might even do pre-orders because I think the more that I can get uh people like if, even if i got 50 people to order them the cost goes down so um cats beta testing it with me i love it um i'm getting a lot of feedback on like what's working what's not working so if you guys are not aware of that daily tracker um i dropped it in the chat just print it out uh print out seven and use it for the week and see how it blesses your business it brings things into your awareness and it's got things on there that are even non-business related um that you're just making sure that you're doing every single day and you don't have to do it all you could put a big x through things if you don't like it but if you want to beta test that with me and private message me and let me know what you think that'd be awesome okay i'm going to go back to making my list of 10 people i call my chicken listers i'm so happy to have you here Amy, I don't know if this uh, would be okay for you because I understand I'm putting you on the spot um, or you can drop it in the chat. Either way is fine. You may not be, you don't even have to turn your camera on, but I'd love to hear. She said, I just did my first voice message to a person I have been scared to talk to. So yay, Amy. Yay, Amy. That means that even if you're the only person that showed up on this call this morning and you did that action, then I feel like I, I, I made an impact. And you then, it's a domino. I teach my kids about this all the time. It's either positive or negative, but it's a domino. Now, Amy made a message because she was inspired. And Amy, can you share with us what you said? I would love to hear it. Good morning, everyone. Sorry, I'm taking out my trash right now. Um, <laughs> I, um, I just said, you know, hey, um, we were we've been ta talking for the past couple of days, and I said, I have always admired your fashion sense, and you know, and how um, good you are with your son being a single mom. And I really just wanted to share something that I fell in love with, and I didn't know if you had the moment to take a peek. And that's all I said. How do you feel? Um, at first, quite honestly, a little nauseous, <laughs> but um, but it feels good. Like it feels good. Like it's out there, and it's in her balls in her court now. And I'll check in, you know, like at the end of the week, and and we'll see how it goes. Did you leave a voice message, or did you, did you leave a text message with her? A voice message. A voice message. A voice. Awesome. So she gets to hear that energy. She gets to see or hear that excitement, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Is that the first time that you've ever done a voice message? Um, not the first time I've done a voice message, but the first time I've done a voice message for someone that I was like skeptical about reaching out to. I'm so proud of you. So, so proud of you. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> Yay, Allie's like, woo -hoo! <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to keep doing those ladies if any of you guys have other language that you've said you want to drop it in the chat feel free i'm i'm glad to read it out loud for those on the replay of this call but so so proud of you amy thank you for sharing
I just dropped some language <clears throat> in the chat and it sounds something like this. This would be for influential people. This is something that um, I've sent before. Um, you follow them on social media. Maybe it's Instagram. I'm using Instagram a lot more today than I ever have, mostly because of hashtagging. But the language is, hey, Nikki, hope you're doing well. Listen, I can see you're a leader in this online space, and I know you understand how powerful timing can be when coupled with simplicity. That being said, I have an opportunity I think you need to take a look at. Are you open to diversifying your brand? And quite frankly, you guys, I'm just going to be real honest. Um, I've been in the uh, network marketing space since 2013. Um, I've seen what works. I've seen what doesn't work. I know the people that I'm looking for. And quite frankly, I also know that savvy is more simple than most network marketing companies out there. People don't have to learn products. They don't have to learn ingredients. They don't have to wait for their skincare um, clients to see results after 60 days. And so, yes, I am looking at network marketing leaders. I am wanting them to take a look at what we're doing here. So I am looking at hashtags that say MLM leader, network marketing leader, those kind of hashtags. And I'm having these conversations with them. <clears throat> so that's just an example of some language I'm using. Jolisa, she says, I sent a voice message to someone I was hesitant to send to. Either you can unmute or let us know or drop in the chat. We would love to hear from you. Please share. Hello. Good morning. I sent a voice message this morning. She's probably three hours behind. She's probably still sleeping, but she works with like Tony Robbins and a bunch of influential people. And I have been casually corresponding with her. And finally, I, I said that I aligned myself with, um, first I said, how you doing, blah, blah, blah. And um, I align myself with this female empowerment clothing company. I would love to have you try some of the clothing and give me your feedback. And, and that's how you left it? You ended it like that? And just taught and said, and I just said some more stuff, yeah. Sometimes I go off on a tangent, but I'm trying not to. <laughs> yep. uh, I feel you. And did you leave it with a call to action or, or a question? Oh, yes, I, I did. Sorry. Yeah, I said, it, if this sounds interesting to you, feel free to, call, um, to message me back because I would love to chat with you about it. Okay. I don't know if I did it correctly, but <laughs> I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> You've raised her curiosity for sure, for sure. Um, I'm just thinking sometimes when I think about language, because we all know that there's not right or wrong language, but I do believe the power in asking her to do something. You might even ask the next question. You could even say like, I do fingers up emoticons and say stuff like, um, I have a quick five minute video or whatever. I think Christy Belliston's video is, I want to say 20 minutes it's a, it's a tad on the long side but um i always say uh if you and i don't drop the link right away but i say if you would have 10 minutes today to watch a video um i can send it to you uh but i always ended in a question to be like hey i got a 10 minute video i can send you would you have some time to watch it today okay I honestly don't like to send long videos because I know when people try to send me because I get inundated all the time and people just trying to send me videos. I'm like, honestly, I don't really have time for this. Yep. Nor yep. do I want to make the time. So I like to, if there's anything shorter that you could recommend. You know, <laughs> we just got back into doing live info sessions in the last couple of weeks. And I know, um, the ones that I have seen, I have not seen anything less than 15 minutes. Do you guys, anyone on this call that still has me on your speaker? Does anyone have a video I that's less than 15 minutes? I feel like Jackie Pruitt did one that was like five minutes, like wrap it up. Um, I was looking for it yesterday, actually. So let me look for it. Yeah. Isn't Lawrence like 13 minutes, short and sweet to the point? Do you have, Tawn, you have her newest one? I do. Hold on. Okay. Christie's is 13 minutes and 45. That's not bad. The other thing I've been sending to is all the things. Savvy, all the things video. Mm. 
Okay. That's branded. It's company branded. So I think that's nice too. Shares more the vision. I actually like that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you for sharing. I love that. Yeah, this is, that's why I'm jumping on here to continue learning <laughs> and I appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate you being here. Tanya, thanks for dropping Lauren's link. I did not have that either. Thank you, Tanya. Those live opportunity calls are, they're helping me rake in the brand partners. This oh, here we go. Ooh, this says my name sorry. is Amber. Um, say that one more time. I, Allie, what did you just say? You said it's helping you? Yeah, those those live opportunity calls, they make me want to sign up again. <laughs> like I've I've gotten two brand partners from a live opportunity call this month. Yeah. I love that. You know, I, it is so true. I built my business in the very beginning, blind leading the blind. I had the skill set, right? Because I have another business, but I didn't know what the hell I was doing. And I plugged people in and Amy White's was the first that I listened to. And then I joined when I saw hers and that's the only way that I knew how to build. And so I hit executive in 11 weeks because I was just like on fire. Like all I did was just pull people into these calls. And that's all I did was then answer questions. And then you guys have this more robust ATM page than we ever did in the beginning. So if they want more information, what's nice is you just plug them into the ATM page. I love that. Thanks for sharing, Allie. If you guys are not on those live opportunity calls again, <clears throat> that schedule is out there. Make sure to hop on and listen to how they're sharing the vision. Listen to how they're sharing, Savvy. Sunny, those are on the Dream Legacy team page. There's links. I haven't seen the ones for like there's one like at two o'clock at one time somebody's doing and then the other ones are at nighttime. And I, I just, I don't see those on the Dream Legacy calendar. Are they just on the Facebook page? Uh, you know, there's a lot more leaders doing them that aren't on that schedule. So um, I don't know where they have that all put. Like we have. You see, I have the calendar. Look, but, yeah. Let me look, hang on, okay. if I can find it, hang on. Maybe go ahead and get some cereal, okay? Thanks, Anne Marie. It's been dropped in the chat. Thank you. 